Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial, I will show you guys how to install Proxmox on your Raspberry Pi. So you just need to follow me. So I have already configured a Raspberry Pi. So if you don't know how to install and configure Raspberry Pi, so I have already made a separate video on this topic. You can check out on my channel or else I will give you the link on my video description. So at first, as you can see, I have connected through a uh, tied VNC or real VNC. So if you want to enable VNC, simply go to your preferences, go to Raspberry Pi configurations and after that, so you'll just go to interfaces and here you'll see VNC. So simply enable that option and click on OK. Once it will done, you just need to open your terminal. After open terminal, the first command you have to type sudo space apt space update to update your Raspberry Pi. Next command I will type over here sudo space apt space upgrade and press enter. Now press Y and enter to continue. After that I will use sudo passwd command to set my root password. So the command is sudo space passw space root. And after that type your new password and as you can see password update successfully now i'll install curl to my raspberry pi so the command is sudo space apt space install space curl after that press enter and as you can see the package is already installed on my computer so now i'll type if command if if config command to check my ip address so the command is if config so now as you can see here is my IP address, so I'll copy the IP address. Now I'll type the command called uh, sudo space nano space slash etc slash host to edit the host file. Now I'll remove the IP address of Raspberry Pi and after that I will paste that IP address over here. So I'll remove the IP address from here and I will right click and paste that IP address. Now I'll press Ctrl and O to write out and after that you have to press enter. Now press Ctrl X to exit. Now to check it is uh, edited properly or not you just need to type cat space it is slash horse and after that as you can see it is successfully edited also you can use hostname space i command hostname space minus i and as you can see ipad is showing properly now we are ready to add proxmox ports to our raspberry pi so it provides pi compatible packages so first we'll add the gpg key to verify package authenticity so all the command i will provide to my video description you can copy from there so after add gpg key, now you can add the repository to our source list. So now I will use sudo apt update command to update my raspberry pi. Now we can finally begin installing Proxmox on Raspberry Pi. The first package that must be installed on your system is if of down. So this package will handle the network easily. So the command is sudo space apt space install space if of down to. And now we need to modify our network interfaces. For that I have to type the command is called sudo space nano space slash etc slash network slash interfaces. After that press enter. And now we need to copy the auto hello command from my video description.
and then you need to modify the IP address and gateway. After done, I will use sudo restart command to restart my Raspberry Pi. After restart, I will use proxmox installation command to my terminal. And now you need to press down arrow key from your keyboard and after that select local only and after that press tab key and press enter. Again you just need to press tab key from your keyboard and press enter. After that I will use hostname command to check my IP address. Now you need to open a browser and paste that IP address to your browser and after that port number should be 8006. The default name is root and password which I have said during installation that I have to put over here and after that login. So before ending this video, I would like to share few quick things with you. I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.